I'm sorry, hey, I'm sorry. Was it too much? What's up? Nothing. Something's wrong. No, What's no, wrong? it's Linda. not you, it's not you, it's me, it's me. I just. Things haven't been this good in months. And. You know how I told you I was trying to communicate more with my husband? Sure, yeah, I remember. So, uh... <laughs> you got him to open up? Yeah. This is what we've been working for. You're right. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. <laughs> Wish I had that. You hurt. No. Are you angry? Angry? No. I knew this was gonna happen from the beginning, right? So what happens now, huh? What happens now? We just, uh, shake hands, is that, is that how this works? Tommy said you weren't my real dad. Who's Tommy? He said you weren't my real daddy because I'm brown and you're not. He doesn't know that all families aren't exactly the same on the outside, Nigel. Sons are always better looking than their dads. I could am my daddy. Nigel, you're... Am I a nigger? What? Who said that, Tommy? Nigel, is that what he called you? Yeah, at recess I pushed him. Well, there's no reason for him to call you that. Mrs. Fur said it's a bad word for people who are brown. I don't know why it's just for brown people. There's all kinds of mean words for all kinds of people, Nigel. Why? I don't know. But people say them, and then they teach them to their kids. Why? I don't know. Because they want people to hurt. It made me feel sad. I'm sorry. It's a mean word, Nigel. It's old, it's ugly, and... People say it because they want to feel better about themselves. Aren't they better? No, they're not. Just afraid. Nobody else says famic hours. You're my daddy, right? Of course I am. Of course I'm your daddy. Hey. You know that. Let's just say I'm the son you never had. Where in the world did you get that intimidating little cannon? It's Greg's, and I know how to use it. You're coming to the quick, Mom. Don't call me that. Please, don't let me hold you up. Go ahead. Shoot. I swear to God, I'll use this. I'm waiting, but I don't have all day to die. Places to go, people to see, you know how it is. Kathleen, I'm a pretty meticulous fellow. Do you really think I wouldn't have searched the house for weapons just on the off chance that someone tried something like this? What are you going to do with me? I'm going to make your life 
a little more complicated. What are you drinking? How about something interesting? Some Kian. How'd it look? Got it. Special Long Island iced tea for the lady. Iced tea? Oh, yeah. This drink's a first-class ticket to paradise. Trust me. What do you think of my dream? Impressive. Must have cost a lot of money to fix up so nice. You don't want to know how much. Nice car, ladies. Well, tell me, when did you convert? Since we borrowed it yesterday, Luke, as if you give a shit. Yeah, like you give a shit, man. <laughs> oh, believe me, man. I want you to keep on stealing cars. Because when I'm a lawyer, I'm going to make a fortune defending all my old high school buddies, starting with you three. How you doing, JJ? Your hair look better long. It's funny. I was just thinking the same thing about you. I like it the way it is. Thank you. See, Lukey? Things do change, even for losers like us. Come on, McBride. I never called you a loser. That's OK. You got your books here. Boats and your Ivy Pie, right? Right on, McBride. <laughs> we'll see you around, buddy.